Stop worrying about what's going on in the world. This is the best piece of advice that I could probably give most of you guys right now that are watching a lot of YouTube channels, watching a lot of content about women, about feminism, about what's wrong with the world, what's wrong with Western women in society. I know that a lot of you guys are resistant to this message because you have an idea. You have an idea of how things should work. You have an idea of how women should be, how men should be. And for the most part, on a lot of those ideas, I would agree with you. But it doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what we think as a collective, okay? And I want you to understand how important this is. There's actually a really good book I've recommended a couple of times, but it's called How to Be Free in an Unfree World by Harry Brown. We'll put a link in the cards and also in the description. The point of this book is to really tell you about how to live your life free from the moralities that people impress upon you, free from society's rules, free from these constraints that you have, and to understand that there are certain constraints, right? There are certain things. For example, you live in the United States, you're going to pay taxes, okay? Uh, you can try and, you know, do what you can to avoid the amount of taxes you're going to pay, but you're going to pay taxes, right? You're going to follow certain things because there are consequences for those actions, not just because some authority told you to do them, right? So a real good example is, you know, you speed on the highway probably, okay? Who cares? Everybody speeds on the highway. You go maybe within five or 10 miles per hour above the speed limit because you know you're probably not going to get caught there and you're probably not going to get pulled over, but you don't go 20 or 25 usually or 30 miles because the risk isn't worth the reward, right? It's not worth it to you because you can get in big trouble, have a hefty fine or go to jail, I guess if you're reckless engagement or, or something like that. So we make these kind of decisions all the time, but for some reason, we don't recognize our sovereignty as much as it does exist. And we don't recognize our lack of sovereignty in, in many areas. And so that's the key thing that I want you guys to understand. What I want to impress upon you today is that I understand all this content that's out here. Okay. I understand all of the problems with Western society and Western women and all these kind of issues and complaints that guys have. And I can empathize with them, of course, but at the same time, I don't care at all. It doesn't matter to me, okay? And, you know, this isn't to say that you shouldn't figure out your own sort of life principles and moral compass in life. You should, you should figure that out, but it should be determined by you, right? You can use this information that's out there, right? When guys tell you about the way that women behave, okay? When guys tell you about the truth about women, about society, about things like that, right? You should have the wisdom. You should have the knowledge. You should read Thomas Sowell's book, The Basic Economics, okay? <laughs> all right? Uh, that's really good, right? You should understand all these things, right? You should understand how monetary systems work. You should understand how women work. You should understand all of the stuff. But then once you understand that, the proper response is not to get angry, okay? It's not to try and fight it because what are you going to do? Are you going to change feminism? Are you going to get rid of it? Even if all the guys on the internet band together, the best thing you could do is to educate other men about what's going on and to help them to improve and grow themselves if that's what you want to do. But for most of you, okay, who don't have a platform, who aren't going to have a platform, don't even do that because it's a waste of time and it's a waste of effort. You're putting comments in the comment section. You're watching these videos just to get angry or just to find someone that agrees with you or just for entertainment purposes and you're not accomplishing anything. All that you're doing is you're making yourself more bitter, right? Because the thing is, you know, if you're in a prison, the worst thing you can do is stare at the prison wall or, or lament, uh, you know, keep on reinforcing that is that you're in a prison, okay? You have certain things that are outside of your control in your life. And if you focus on those things, then you're going to feel less in control. You're going to feel less sovereign and you're not gonna be spending your effort where it's best utilized, which is figuring out what can you do within these prison walls, all right? I did a video in the Bulldog Mindset membership talking about how you are a slave. If you haven't watched that video, I would encourage you to check out the membership. It's $7 for the first month. Ton of content on women, on society, on advice, on how to build a business, how to actually become as free as possible, become financially free. I show you exactly how, in fact, I just recorded a video today showing you how I just made a bunch of money, how I just launched a product, didn't even need an audience, Audience. And, you know, I show you step by step how to do these kind of things. So definitely check it out and definitely join us. You owe it to yourself. But here's the thing, guys. This is the point that I really want you to understand is that it doesn't matter whether or not society is right or not. It doesn't matter whether or not women are right or not. It doesn't matter whether women are promiscuous or not. None of those things matter. 
Okay. From a principle standpoint, you could say something would be better or worse. Okay. And, and you might not even be right about that, but let's, let's just assume that you are, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't matter about your opinion because it's certain things in life that it's not worth having the opinion on. See, most of the time, things that you can't change in life, it's not even worth having an opinion on. So it doesn't matter. It only matters as far as you understand what's happening so that you can properly respond. Okay. Now your response has to be measured and your response has to be targeted towards what will actually improve your life, not a response of cutting off your nose to spite your face, right? Any kind of response that is like, oh, well, if, if women act like this, I'm going to do this. Or if this is like this, I'm going to do this. It's not smart. It's, it's not to your advantage, okay? Like I said, don't interpret this as me justifying things that are happening in society and whatever. All throughout history, there has been messed up stuff in society. If you go to any point of history, no one's ever had it right. There was never a point in history where everyone had it right, where it was working properly, right? You might go back and try to say, oh, with relationships with men and women, when before women had voting rights, or what, you could go back there, but it's still gonna be a messed up society. There's still gonna be aristocracies. There's still gonna not be upward mobility. So even if you were in that, type of life, you would still have problems. You wouldn't be able to create a business on the internet. You would basically have to work for one employer for your whole life and they would really control your life to, to a large degree. You have so much autonomy in other areas. And so there's always trade-offs for all these things in life. And so my whole point is that it doesn't matter where you land in history. If you could just randomly land somewhere in history, there would be struggles, okay? And they would be perhaps worse than what you're facing now, perhaps somewhat a little bit better in different areas, but there'd be different trade-offs. And so if you complain, if you whine about what's going on, it doesn't make any sense because it doesn't matter and no one cares, right? Instead, take all the knowledge, take as much knowledge as you can. Be careful with the knowledge that you take because don't just take stuff that reinforces your viewpoints or fuels your anger or makes you feel justified or gives you a cope. Instead, try to be objective, try to get the, the information as it actually is. Have no opinion about it, it doesn't matter. This is just what it is. These are just some numbers on the board. This is what it is. And then once you have that, calmly decide, okay, what is the best course of action that won't, not to spite anyone, not because I'm so wrong and this is the right way to do things, but what will get you the results that you want in your life? Because it is your life, ultimately. Again, I, I said, read that book, How to Be Free in an Unfree World by Harry Brown. It's a really good book. But ultimately, it's your life. It's your choices. It doesn't matter. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. You don't have to do anything that anyone tells you to do. You don't have to believe anything. All you have to do is decide, how do you want to spend your time? And I know, personally, I don't want to spend my time upset at the world, angry, bitter. I don't want to spend my time doing things to get back at people, to get revenge. I want to spend my time doing the things that are important to me and improving myself and helping others along the way. That's what I want to do. So if you want to do that too, actually a good place is to join the Bulldog Mindset membership because that's we've got guys in there, a whole community of men that, that are doing that. But regardless, if you don't want to do that, don't do that either. Instead, make your choices, listen to yourself, gain the wisdom from other people, but then apply it to best optimize your life, not to, not to fulfill anyone's agenda and not to subscribe to any kind of political philosophy, whatever it is, because it's just a waste of time and effort and emotional energy, which you don't have enough of. <laughs>